Hello, 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 and welcome to Themathon. This is Viper, and he's going to run the Die Hard trilogy. So, say hello, and tell me whenever I have to start. No problem, thank you very much. Yep, yeah, so hello, uh, I'm Viper, or Viper UK, whichever way uh, you want to cut it. Uh, this is Die Hard trilogy for the PS1. Uh, I'm going to be running just the first game in this. There's three games in this game. Released back in 1996 for the PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, and the PC. Uh, the PC version is a pain in the ass to get to work. I don't know if the Sega Saturn is able to get to work on emulation. Uh, this is being played on PS1 emulation. Don't kill me. We have separated the PS1 console to emulation side of things. But um, regardless of that, so time will be starting when I hit new game. Now, it will go into a cutscene here, um, but we'll, we'll I'll, I'll quickly just mention... Uh, so there's 19 levels altogether. A lot of the gist of this is run and gun. Um, we basically play as John McClane, and we've got to take down a bunch of terrorists that try to take over the building. Um, in the film, there's about nine. In the game, there's about a thousand of them, <laughs> it looks like. There's, way more, there's more guys on one level than there is on like the whole film. Um, but yeah, enjoy whilst... Uh Whilst we, we go through this, uh, we're using something called the handgun bug, which is basically, I'll get into that as we go, but anyway, we're ready on time, uh, I'll uh, get us started, so here we, get, here we go, three, two, one, go. Okay, so, level one, garage, again, I'm not going to take much notice of the, uh, of the actual thing itself. So, basically these... There's a, a fair bit of running and shooting, as I said. There we are. Nice. Now, guys can come from everywhere. There we are. Uh, I'm going to get these guys over here. we get this guy around here yes we can so long story short if you've never seen the film go and watch the film i'm not really going to spoil this too much um but all you need to know so john mcclain is played by bruce willis and what we'll, what we need to do is take down a guy called hans gruber uh one other thing as well so to speed the game up somewhat what we need to do is there we are. There we are. So, there we are. So basically, the, the handgun bug works like this. Um, when you beat a level, um, you have one. if you have one bullet in the chamber and you fire as you enter the elevator, you get something called the handgun bug. So basically now, instead of my gun reloading, it counts up, it doesn't count down. So as you'll see now, I've got zero bullets, but I've now got infinite bullets. And this can actually make the uh, run a lot easier. Um, because now, basically, my bullet count is not going to matter. I didn't actually realize that guy was there. Um, but yeah, we're not going to save too many of the, uh, of the civilians, unfortunately, because... Well... There we are. There we are. Okay, so you also get these as well. So you get uh, you can get a machine gun as well, like this. Which is basically a one-hit kill. If you kill enemies with it, it's um yeah, it's pretty overpowered. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure that I there we are. Get these guys as quick as possible. You get guys coming in through other corridors as well. There we are. And I think there should be two guys left. If there is. Um, and if we get the last guy here. Now, unfortunately, the handgun bug does not work via... Well, doesn't work via... Uh, oh, which way is he going? Going that way? It's going that way. Okay, that's good. Uh, no, he's going the other way. Guy is literally trolling me right now. This is this is fun. Yeah, it's a running gun. And as I said, you've got a few bits at the end. Now you you do have uh, health as well. Like that. I don't know if that got 
the 15 bullets. I might have missed the thing on this. Um, so saving hostages in this actually slows you down. So for the sake of things, we will be saving hostages, but we'll also be killing them pretty quick. Um, because there are certain points where you'll have uh, moments where you'll be able to save hostages. Um, and they'll give you an extra life, like for example here. Um, on the, as you'll see now, uh, the, there you go. So we save the guy, as soon as the extra life comes up, it's fine. Uh, we basically mean, it means that we, what we can do is we can kill the guy himself and it won't matter too much. Now, it is worth mentioning that down here, these guys are pretty brutal. Uh, now I'm going to get some health, uh, some, hopefully, there you go, it didn't show, I didn't think I got it, I did. Uh, there's also one other part as well, aside from the, uh, yeah, aside from the, the weapons as well, which you'll see, um, that we've got to do, there you go, that was actually the first time I've done that, um, let's see. So, the dots on the map, the red dots are the enemies, that should probably come as no surprise. Uh, but the blue is the civilians. Uh, now, I do believe that there is a bunch of guys that have just got out of the elevator. They have. Oh, they're down here. So, every now and again you get a mini boss like this. Like that. And he's also going to give us a weapon. Now. To be honest, this is the better gun. These are ba this is basically a one-shot kill. And where is it? There it is. So we've got to take these guys down. And as, what what I was trying to say was uh, earlier on was the guys themselves will have like this. You'll have a bomb sequence, which always happens. Um, and the bomb sequence is crucial. You need to know the ways around this, mainly. Um, so you get 30 seconds from when you kill the last enemy to get to the, the bomb, and then go up to the next floor. If you don't get to it, it's game over. If I run out of lives, it's game over. If I save too many hostages, it's not game over. But the reason why I end up actually killing the hostages, saving them, then killing them, is because, as I said, it's one of them, like anything else. Um, should be able to get these guys down here. Uh, now, I do need to make sure I get these. Nice. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Imagine being stolen on the other side of that door. So th this will make things a lot harder. There we go. I'm going to make sure... Unsurprisingly, the uh, AI is armed with every bad weapon under the sun. And if they see you, you're in trouble. Uh, so I have to be very careful about this. Okay, so here comes the fun part now. So I've lost one life there. Uh, they've also killed a hostage, which is fine for me, because it means I don't have to save him. Uh, where is the next one? Oh, yeah. So, the uh, the map, it has a few zoom, uh, a few zoom features on it. Uh, so, this level's always the same. There we go. Always good fun. Always good fun. So, Again, we want to try and make sure that we don't save any hostages. We do save them, but like I said, we have to kill them. The reason for this, you get bonus levels that you go up to the top of the building for, and then you have to come back down again. And we want to try and avoid that the whole way. Um, originally, I, I saved like all hostages. Um, now I just save them, get the extra life, and then kill them straight away. Like this. So you get that. Extra life, and he's dead. And that's the end of him. Um, I do believe... 
There is a bunch of guys here. And this guy has decided to go in this corner. That's not good. I don't know why he's in this corner, but sure. The movement on this is actually quite a lot of fun as well. Um, like having having this movement is uh, yeah, it's, it's very fun. I can hear elevators coming up. Okay, there's elevators. There's a bunch of guys. Oh Christ! Yep, that gets rid of all them. So there is a bunch of people here. Um, the other thing is as well, I've not even mentioned this yet, is you can actually have, um, I was going to say bad RNG, but basically, you can actually get um, hostages that will kill you because they are supposed to be, well, put it this way, they're supposedly uh, supposed to be hostages. Oh Jesus, this, might, this is a hard pattern. Uh, and also, rolling and everything is key for the, a game like this. So, these guys will be constantly on me the whole way round through this game, I'm sure. Also, they can uh, quite easily get on your nerves because they split up like this. This is also another reason why optimizing a run of this game is uh, not a good thing. It's pretty difficult to do. So we've got 11. Now I believe I can get this guy down here. That'll get rid of him. Um, oh, armor. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, now these guys are going to have... Nice. I don't know how I shot upwards, but okay. I'll take that. Also, game logic in, the, in this game makes zero sense at times. They do... Uh, you'll, you'll notice as well that where their, their gun locks on uh, can be quite interesting. Sometimes it can be a real pain. Other times, less so. So again, it's more run and shooting than anything else. There we go. We've got three guys left. Uh, I need to figure out... Oh yeah, and the soundtrack loops as well. Uh, so there is... Two guys up here. They're always here, for some reason. I don't know where the other guy is. There's one guy left. Oh, yep, one guy. Yep, there we go. We got him. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. He's on his way down. Happy days. Come to meet your maker. Nice. There we go. Finally. That level seems to be a bit of a bugbear because this one takes a lot longer than the others. Uh, I'm also not going to pick that gun up because of the fact that if I pick that gun up, I reset the bug. This is the other thing I wasn't saying. The handgun bug is only active... Until you pick up another weapon. The moment you get another weapon, that bug disappears and you lose. Uh, you don't lose the game, you just lose the, the bug. You have to reactivate it again at the end of that level. But it does allow you to just go absolutely haywire with a pistol. Like this. Uh, that's not... Not a gun I want. Uh, let's see. Some levels can be quick and easy as well. I will just mention that bit. Uh, nice. Now, uh, I just need to find these guys. There they are. The other thing is as well as, as, well as assault rifles that the AI can use against you. Um, they can also use weapons like, well, for example. They can also use weapons like explosive shotgun uh, which is basically instant instant death if you get it wrong uh, there's one guy he's on his own I don't know why he's on his own interesting there we go. and the bomb's there I want health so I can do all this I can just run straight through but 
here's the other thing. What I wasn't saying. The handgun bug stays between levels. That's the best bit. The long, If you keep it, um, you can carry it the whole way through the game. Um, sometimes getting a, picking up a shotgun or a machine gun or an explosive shotgun is actually a really good idea. The explosive shotgun, though, you have to be careful with. If you get it wrong, you're dead, basically. Um, the, uh, the explosive rounds don't help at all. That was not worth the extra stuff that I did for that. Nice. Oh, there's one guy that's gonna, just about to be... Oh, dear. Um, I missed the friggin'... Missed the, I, I missed the chance to get an extra life, which sucks. There we go. Uh, got two guys here. Okay, and I think we've also got another boss. Oh no. There we go. Here we go. And shotgun. There we go. And there you go. It does involve a lot of button mashing. There we go. So, I don't know what level we're actually on. I don't really keep track of the levels. I just kind of fire and push my way through. Um... In terms of knowing the enemy placement, it is key. Um, ideally, if you're stood next to a... If you're stood next to an elevator when the elevator shows up, then by all means, you're in, you're in for a good time. Um, just need to make sure that I get this right. There we go. There we go. So I do know that there is a particular uh, enemy that can spawn. I think that was a weapon. Was it a weapon? No, it wasn't. It was a flashbang. Damn. Oh. There we go. There we go. Also, apparently John McLean can shoot through walls too. So you can actually... Like I said, it's... it's there we go. Pretty good actually, the fact you can do that. Uh, let's see. The music's pretty good as well. It's a pretty... So, that guy in the tuxedo, by the way, he actually is a villain. Um... There we go. Have uh, we got a weapon? I haven't. Okay, so... There we go. What's our hostages if not more people in the way? Exactly. So I've got my handgun bug back, which is good. Um, so far, we've not actually had any bonus levels. So I think there's three bonus levels. Fun fact, if you're playing this on emulator and you're getting the achievements, by skipping the bonus levels, it gives you the achievement for, um, for the bonus levels, saying you've completed them. Which is quite funny, I think. There we go. Yep. I do believe that oh dear. I think that's that's not it. There we go. There we go. Also some walls do fall down. 
Good. Um, these guys can shoot you through. There we go. Uh, so, for the sake of skipping a beat here, I'm actually going to kill that guy there. Um, just because it gets me to him faster. And then, I do. There we go. And we're back at pistols again. Nice. Told you we'd make it. Oh, good. There we go. And also, let's go leave the hostages there. <laughs> As I said, in the film, John McClane saves hostages. Um, but, yeah, the game, you, yeah, you don't save anybody. John McClane saves no one. Now, there's something interesting about level 10 about ballroom. So, there's a bunch... Jesus Christ, you guys must have known it was coming or something. So, if I shoot too many hostages here... I actually get back up. If I don't, um, if I don't kill them all, or I don't kill too many, um, it actually shortens this level by a minute and a bit. So, for example, I can save this guy, which I actually do, and I leave him be. I don't actually kill him. But now, if I go up to the top of these stairs here and shoot this this guy. Yep, yeah, he killed too many. So now I've got the longer version of the level. That sucks. There you go. It, it. It. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't say you could walk through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be able to walk free. There we go. And there we go. So the reason why I had to kill the hostages then, um, they can be in a really tough spot. Um, but basically the ballroom has a case of if certain amount of hostages are killed, reinforcements are called. You don't kill too many hostages, they don't spawn and you can beat the level a lot faster. Now, maintenance two, this one in particular is a bit of a pain because the guys are all down here, which is fine. There we go. Like Think. No, that's not a, a weapon. So these guys down here will be an absolute pain because they're going to start walking towards me. And now. I believe should be there is okay I can't actually get to him from there I thought I could even trying to be clever about it uh, there should be one more guy there is I can get him It'd be nice if I could kill him so these last 30 seconds always get me no matter what happens um, I'm also going to have to kill the hostages because he's in the way. Sorry. There we go. So that level's done a lot faster than it should be. Um, it is a relatively fast mission. So let's. that's got rid of that level. Uh, next one is level... is it 12? 12. Good guess. So there's three guys in front of the elevator and I usually kill the guy in the middle first. These guys have got shotguns, so these are more lethal than you think. Uh, now I'm going to quickly run around the block here. And hopefully... I can't remember how many. Here comes the fun part. Oh. Also, yeah.
Um. Ah, get rid of them. Oh yeah, you do have to be. Yep. And a bunch of guys have also spawned. Which are here. That's fine. He's gone. They've gone out that way. Um, hopefully they don't turn around and kill me. Yep. So, you have to get rid of them, so that the bomb triggered thing shows up. Me. There you go. I mean, I'll just go leave them there. Okay. So, we've still got, I think it's about another six levels after this. A few are quite short in the latter game. Latter end of the game. Got construction three, and immediately there's a guy that's about to die, so you have to go and save him fast if you want to be quick about it. Um, I can usually get him. That wasn't even me. I did that. That was the blasted enemy. There we go. Oh, hang on. Two guys coming out here. And the sitting duck. Now, I'm gonna walk right into the heart of the fight. This'll be fun. Yep. I can't imagine John McLean's fingers whilst he's firing a gun at this space. To be honest. Can you? This is also where the AI can get the upper hand on you. As well. There's a bunch of guys as well in there. I believe, I think it's this one up here. Um, yeah, it's up here. Never remember entirely. There we go. <sighs> so it's, a, it's a hell of a level, that one. Honestly, honestly you've no idea what it's doing to my finger. Ooh. I've never been one for spamming, but it, it basically is. It's button spamming simulator. Soundtrack's pretty good. Yep. 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 And kill these guys here. Get the shotgun. I'm gonna blow his brains out and kill the other hosses in the process. There we go. That was pretty good shooting. Me? What way to go? In the, down the toilet. Nice. There we go. Also, you can tell that that enemy was going to kill me. Mainly because of the fact that... Well, um... If I didn't kill him, then, uh... He probably would have come after me. Yep. And 
gonna go to here. I'm gonna go fire the bullet, and there you go. That gets rid of that one. On to the next. As I, as I said, it is just run and gun and fire like hell. We're on level 15. So this one is a bit more tricky. Um, the layout of the computer's levels always gets me. Yep. And I'm also going to get this weapon. There's also this. So this level has the uh, explosive shotgun on it. And if I'm not careful... Oh. I think there's one guy left. So there is. Where are you? He's over here. Yep. Told you we'd make it. I'm actually gonna hit. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of the machine gun because the machine gun is good, but then I'll lose my handgun thing. That's what I did with the shotgun, that's why I was firing it off. I have it straight from the get-go. Now there is a guy down here, which if I can get him, I'll be pretty happy with. There we go. There we go. Nice. Now, the thing is, there's two guys in this room. There you go. I'm gonna get straight away. Damn, I may have actually. I may have actually. I would say soft locked, but I don't think I have. That's health. Let's see if I can. Nope. Okay. Did he get out of there? Did he actually get out of there? No, he didn't. I, I may have. Yeah, may have accidentally not got him. So. These guys are the ones you want to watch. So. There you go. That's why. That is why, with the explosive shotgun, why you don't try and fight them. And if you do see them, kill them instantly. Because if they don't, if you don't kill them quick enough, they will kill you like that. Like there is no hesitation. They, they just don't hesitate. Well, enough. That's a line in the film. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. So here's a fun one. So this one's literally run and gun. And hope you kill everyone on your route. If you don't, then actually they come after you. And kill him. There we go. Get rid of him. Here comes the shotgun. Oh, yep. There's a reason why these all give you health. Because, well, 
This is why. The, the, the shotgun is very OP. As you can see. There you go. Ah, that's better. And then... There we go. Now there's a bunch of guys that are going to show up. There we go. These guys now are going to try and come down here. I'm not going to let them. Okay, I'm gonna actually get the health here because I don't know what's gonna happen in the next level. That's why. I saved the hostage. Oops. Okay, right. We've not had enough hostages to gain a bonus level yet, so that's good. We've got maintenance three. And then the last one's computers three, and then we're done. A lot of machine gun ammo. There we go. And these guys show up. And we now get on to the last one. Or uh, we would, except we've got the hostage situation. So this is how you solve the hostage situation. I don't think we get one, but we have. So you get this, the bonus level. So what we're going to do immediately is to stop this from happening. I'm also going to start with... There we go. There you go. You immediately have to kill them to get rid of them. So you get this level completion boost. This is why it's slower. We've also got the assault rifle as well. So we're going to get rid of that. There we go. Right. Computers 3. Time is coming up after this level is finished. Uh, it's actually when we see the game completion screen. I can get rid of these guys pretty fast. Uh, what's my plan? You're right. Yep. Now, and now I should be getting at some point some point these guys so they drop shotguns which means now I'm, I'm not the ultimate beating or anything but I don't know why these guys are constantly walking in and out of doors but this guy could just stay still would be great Nice.
The running and gunning these guys is out of dispatch room quick. Like this. Then now we should have. What? So time's coming up. And time will be any second now. And time. That's it. Pretty good. 39.45. Not far off me. I think PB was yeah, a minute off my PB, but I got the uh I got the uh Thing itself, but never mind. There you go. And we'll call it. I don't know if I can sp spell this the whole way because it might be a bit difficult, but yeah. Let's do. M. Do an E. Do a T. Do an H. I don't know how far this thing will let me go. Oh, I'll have to. Theme though. Theme though, there you go. Close enough. <laughs> Eighth. Missed the N on. N off. If you don't put a name in, by the way, it automatically assigns McLean. But yeah, that is Die Hard Trilogy. Um, there is two other games as well uh, that I'll just quickly mention. So the three games in this, you've got Die Hard, which is like top-down, third-person, shoot 'em up. Uh, Die Hard 2 is a first-person um, rail shooter. Uh, where you play as John McLean, you go through all the levels, uh, parts of the film and everything like that. And then Die Hard for the Vengeance is a driving one, uh, where you've got to drive around New York and Central Park and everything, um, stopping uh, Hans Gruber's brother, who's the brother of the guy in this film, um, for basically blowing up New York with bombs, and it involves a lot of driving. But the thing is, with Die Hard with a Vengeance, I know people are like, what the hell is driving? Why do you do that one? Um... That game is hard as nails. Um, I don't really know. No one's done a spear on of it yet because it's so difficult. Uh, can't do it in the first, like in one go, basically. Uh, the first two games are doable. The first one's definitely the easiest out of the three, I think. The second one's a rail shoot, so I suppose it just involves learning uh, more than anything else. Would so highly recommend if you're going to play the first game, try it on emulator or try it on console, whichever we do on split. Uh, the second game. If you're going to do the second game, either do it on emulate with a mouse to make it a lot easier with aiming. Uh, use the PlayStation mouse thing. Or if you've got a console, get the PlayStation mouse and use that uh, to get the uh, to get it done. Uh, which I still need to look for for mine. Um, and then the third one is a driving one. But the driving is wacky. It's very weird. Um, and like I said, it just doesn't add up. Um, and you have to really know where you're going for the third game. Uh, but I think that's going to be about it. Like I said, it's 1996 uh, when this game came out. You can get it on PlayStation, Sega Saturn on PC. Avoid the PC version. It's not very good unless we get it working. Then great. Uh, I believe you can get the Saturn maybe on emulation, but I don't know. Oh, it's easy to emulate this and get hold of as well. Um, but I'm just going to quickly wrap this up and just say thanks to Team for having me. Nice to see it's back after a couple of years hiatus. Um, and uh, yeah, who knows what I will actually be running on the next one, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's go wrap it up from me. I'm going to head off, but uh, I'll hand it back over to you, Jigachi. <laughs>